welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, Tony Olawi. And if it's your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. I'm sure I can't tell by the title, yeah? I've been seeing these challenges everywhere on the internet. I also saw Beauty by JJ, one of my other favorite YouTubers as well. She did her makeup like Nikki tutorials. I saw Laura Lee as well, right? Laura Lee did hers like Nikki tutorials. So the person I chose to do my makeup like today, a is the one and only Patrick Star. I feel like this guy is so so dramatic. I love his energy. I love watching his tutorials. I decided, you know, I'm gonna do Patrick Star because I love him. Why not? Now, mind you guys, I do not have all the products he used, so I'm going to use what I have to create the look that he did. Okay, same thing goes for you guys when you watch makeup tutorials, be it mine, be anybody else's. And you don't have all the products they use, you do not have to go out to break your bank to buy the exact same thing. You can actually just search around your makeup closet and I'm sure you find one or two items and can create the same look. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into this video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, Auntie, Auntie, Auntie. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button right down below and turn and turn. Calm down, Tony, and turn on your post notification bell so that you don't miss an update from me, okay? And check me out on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And without further ado, guys, let's get straight into this, okay? Shall we? Cool. <laughs> Okay, so obviously Patrick Star already put in some grayish, bluish contacts. So I put mine in, and the one I got is from Cherish Official, and it came in this packet. My info is going to write down below. So just like Patrick he uses the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, I'm going to use mine as well. My skin, you cannot go wrong with Smashbox. They literally have a primer for every single type of skin. I just had to do that so that my hair does not get in the way of this makeup look. So I'm going to use my. Olay Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. I'm just going to blend this out with my fingers. Guys, please don't look at my nails. My nails are weak. Ooh, and I actually like this eye cream. It's so smooth. I don't know. It's creating this nice silky base underneath my eyes. Yeah, okay. I've never used eye cream before because I'm not that bougie. This is my first time using eye cream and I actually do like it. So, I'm actually start incorporating it into my daily routine. So for foundation, he uses the Lancome Ultra Tint Foundation. Unfortunately, I do not have that foundation. So I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade, what's it, NC55. Also, he used the Cover Effect uh, Drop. So I don't have that either. So I'm going to be using the Eloise Get Glow Illuminating Drops as well. And you guys see, I used just a little bit right here. And I'm going to mix that together. Custom Enhancer Drops in Rose Gold. And I love this combination it's so so pretty and i'm just going to blend this down to my neck as well so i'm not looking too higgy haga okay cool he goes to highlight his face with the tart shape tip concealer i'm just going to use this to highlight my face so i noticed that his own highlight is actually very 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 bright so to also create that same effect i'm going to go ahead and use my kat von d lock it highlights in the shade neutral to add a little bit more of an extra brightness my shape tape concealer i love this concealer so so much i'm in the color light medium and i'm gonna take my booty blender and bounce that all over my face bounce Typically, if you watch my tutorials, know that I usually like doing my eyebrows first. I never do my face first. I always do my eyebrows, my eyes, and then my face. So I'm doing it kind of in reverse, and I'm actually liking it. I feel like it's a little bit faster. So to set underneath his eyes, he uses the Dermal Blend Loose Setting Powder. So now, I'm kind of afraid of using this powder because it's so white. I've had this for a while as well, and honestly, I haven't used this at all. It's still brand new. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm just going to go ahead and remove the protective layer. Just bitty, bitty bounce. This, just and we're gonna bit. take the Dermablend Blend Loose Setting Powder and set it right away. I set my under eyes right away. And I have a lot of questions if this flashes back. Okay guys, this next part actually scares me a little bit because he literally takes his setting powder and puts it all over his face and he leaves that to sit for a very, very long time. So guys, fingers crossed. But I just keep back. Yee, chale. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of my favorite setting powders, which is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. You guys didn't even know I didn't even like baking, so <sighs> let's go. I'm going to do it like the way he does it. Pressing this into my powder. 
backwards. Next, since that powder is a little bit more pricey, I'm gonna take my air sponge and just beat my, the rest of my face with this powder and then move one to the eyes. So, there we have it. So I'm going to use the drugstore version, which I think is the drugstore version anyways, and this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer Pencil. It actually has the same ultra fine tip like the Benefit one. So, yeah, this is it. This is what it looks like, and the shade is in dark brunette i believe it doesn't really show us too much of how he does his eyebrows but yeah i'm just going to use the pencil to fill in my brows i didn't even think he used concealer on his brows i have to use concealer on mine anyways for me to have that nice and defined sharp look so yeah let's go ahead so now uh, for the brows i decided to use the precisely my brow pencil in the color number four i love this pencil and the goof proof so he starts off with his eyeshadow by using a transition warm brown color. So for that, I'm going to take my Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. I'm going to go into the shade like this. It's a nice rich brown color. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this on my eyelid, you know, to create a nice brown base. Just like he's is creating a nice brown base for him. And also keep in mind that I'm going to be using darker tones because he's way lighter than me in complexion. And the color is to transition, will probably not show up on my eyelids. So okay, guys, so I clearly do not have the gel blue eyeliner that he has. So the closest color I have to that is from my Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. And I'm going to go into this shade called blindsided this one right here next I'm gonna take this eyeshadow called acid rain by Maybelline it is so pretty and it's so inexpensive and out this blue color just a little bit you know, because his is actually blend, blended out. Because it's kind of like a smoky, like a smoky thing is going on right now. Okay guys, I kind of messed up. This color did not come out the way I wanted it to look. Thank God for this palette because this just saved this whole look. Take this shade right here. Okay, it's working. Ah, guys, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm so mad at myself, though. This is Estee Edits Fluid Metal Eyeshadow. It's like lip gloss for the eyes, and I put some and scooped it on my palm, and this makes your eyeshadow look super wet, and I feel like by a I'm going to go back in with this darker blue shade as well and just touch up everything and blend everything in together. Just applying this on the other part of my eye. Yay! It kind of looks like he's now. Kind of. Perfecto! I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so moving on, he ends up using some liquid eyeliner to line his eyes. He doesn't tell us what he uses. I'm going to go ahead and use the Kat Von D tattoo liner and just, you know, line my eyes just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I have this Ruby Kisses blue eyeliner that's so pigmented, so bright. It flecked off onto my contacts, so if you see in the intro, my eyeshadow is a little... So he ended up using his Marc Jacobs uh, mascara. I have searched up and down. I have searched below, underneath this whole bedroom, this whole film room, and I haven't seen mine. And I actually do have two. The fact that I can't find one is so, so annoying. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, because this is also one of my favorite mascaras as well. But I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes up to Jesus and coat them with a Velvet Noir mascara. Hey guys, so I am going to attempt to dust off all this excess powder and I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Dark and just this big brush. I have a lot of fallout on my face and I'm scared I'm going to have blue streaks all over my face. And there's really nothing I can know about that right now so I'm so sorry and hopefully that doesn't happen. But yeah, time to blend out all of this. Yay guys! There are no streaks on my face. Right. But to dust off all the excess powder, the air spin, and the gemma blend, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder and dust that all off. To I just feel like my face is like super white and super matte right now. So he actually ended up using a little bit more powder underneath his eye. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Medium Deep for that look as well. Off to prevent a flashback and add 
extra coverage and i'm gonna take the makeup forever pro finish powder in the color 128 mm. and put this underneath the eye okay Eva. it is called give me sun by mac it's a baked product i love this so 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 much and i'm just gonna go ahead and put this onto my double chin onto my chin and y'all know i love my nose i went in a little bit too crazy but i blended it with foundation but this is the jd weighty 180 so after that, he goes ahead to apply some blush and he uses a peachy tone. So for that, I'm going to take my e.l.f. blush palette and go in with this one right here. And then for the blush, I'm going to take this Achiote blush, Amazonia blush by Tarte Cosmetics. <laughs> blinding. Do you see it's blinding? And I decided to warm it up using gold deposit just to complement my skin tone. Patrick sets his face with the MAC Fix Plus. It's beautiful. I decided to pray, to, to pray, yes, pray and spray Fix Plus and apply that all over my face. And now for the lips, I'm taking my favorite Cafe Ole liner by Rimmel and lining my lips. So I am going to take the MAC Naturally Transformed Matte Lipstick. This is a nude shade for my own skin tone. much it for this video if you guys noticed in patrick star's video he wore a turban and a leather jacket so i said to be a little bit extra and do the same thing as well i hope you all really really enjoyed this makeup tutorial if you did please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment right down below as well and until next time guys peace